everybody, it's Jordan here with another Fit For Good online session for you to do. Now today's workout involves some cardiovascular work for your heart health, it involves some strength work to keep your muscles strong and improve your bone mineral density, we've got some core work to improve your midline, we've got some balance work, you know, to keep, keep you nice and stable on your feet, and we've also got some functional movements movements you do in everyday life, so we're going to improve them and reduce your chance of injury when you do do them in real life. Now, what you need for today's session? Some water, definitely ready to go, just so you can have a drink when you need it. You'll also need a chair like this one, or a sofa, something stable that you can sit on. Now, you have the option, you can have a little bit of weight. Obviously you can use weights for that, but if you don't have any, you can do what I'm doing and I'm going to use a household item. I'm using a jar of pasta sauce. Something nice and easy to hold in my hand and something that has a little bit of weight in it. However, if you don't want to use any weights at all, don't worry about it, just use your body weight. The last thing that you could need, it's completely optional, you do not have to, is a mat because there is an exercise where you have the option to get to the floor. And when I say option, it really is an option. Don't worry about it if you don't, because if not, you can use your chair, not a problem. The next part's gonna be our warm up. So get ready to go guys, have a sip of water if you need to, get all the stuff you need ready to go and enjoy the workout today. Right, we're going to start with our warm-up. Follow along, do the best you can, and if you need more rest, just take more rest. Give the video a pause. Now I'm going to make some big circles with my arms. I'm going to squeeze my fists. Nice big circles, trying to touch my ears. Watch out for anything around you or above you, like a light. We're doing ten. That's number four. Five. Breathe. Six. In the nose, out the mouth. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to do some backwards. Ten. One. We're just loosening up the shoulders. Two. Three. Four. Well done. Five. Six. Seven. Ooh, eight. That's it, nine and ten. That's it, shake it out. Now what we're gonna do our shoulders, our actual shoulder, uh, shoulder blades. So we're gonna go forwards, up, back, down. Basically making a big circle. We're doing ten. Two, three, four. We're going backwards to start with five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Nine, ten. And now we're going to do some forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold your hips. We're going to do ten rounds to the right. Two, three, four, five. Well done everybody, nice and easy, just take it easy. Six, breathe, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna go back the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well done, eight, nine, 10. We're going to loosen up your hamstrings and lower backs now, so interlink your fingers. I'm going to reach down to the floor. If you can't touch your toes, don't worry about it. Don't, don't, you don't need to go that low. One. And then up to the sky. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, 
Eight. Well done. Nine. Almost there. Breathe. And ten. Now let's have a slightly wider leg position, please. Wider than your shoulders. We're going to go opposite hand to opposite foot. You can bend the knee slightly and you do not have to touch your foot if you can't. One. Two. Nice and easy. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, nice and loose. Now, we are going to go for my favourite movement, a body weight squat. We want it to look like this. Or like this. Lovely. So, what we're doing there, we're trying to maintain as upright as possible while getting as low as possible. If you can't get quite as low as me, don't worry about it at all. It's not and never will be a problem. So, feet at your shoulders. I like to have my toes pointing out slightly. Feel free to do the same as long as they're not like this or have them facing forward. Now, just like I'm about to perch on a stool, I'm going to send my bum backwards. My knees bend as a result of that. My arms or elbows remain high throughout the entirety of the movement. So we're going to do 10 reps. Try and follow along with me. And if you can't go as low as me, then don't. One. I want to keep my feet sorry, nice and flat on the ground. Two. So if you're coming onto your toes, don't go as low or widen your legs. Three. Four. Five. I'm going to show you the other five from this way. Six. Seven. Well done. Eight. Nine. And one more, please. Ten. Woo! Lovely. Legs, shoulders, hips, hamstrings, lower back should be nice and warm now. However, we are going to do an aerobic warm up. It's going to be quite simple. You're going to do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for six rounds. We've got three movements and we're going to go through them twice. Yeah? So, when I count you in, the first thing you're going to do is walk or jog on the spot. Nice and simple. This is still just a warm up, so don't overdo it. But at the same time, try and get yourself nice and warm. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Walk or jog on the spot. Breathe in the nose, out the mouth. Well done. 10 seconds. Well done, everybody. Good job. Three, two, one. One, breathe in the nose, out the mouth. In five seconds, we're gonna do some boxing. Get ready, three, two, one. Nice small punches, up and down, left and right, just watch out for stuff around you. That's it, good job. Just move my arms to get them nice and warm. Keep going, well done. You've got seven seconds. Three, whew, two, one, and have a rest, 10 seconds of rest. Well done, everybody. In the nose, out the mouth. Now the next exercise I'm gonna do is our squat. So get your feet ready in your squat position. Let's go. Nice and slow. Even though this is an aerobic warm up, I'm taking these slowly because they're nice and technical. Arms or elbows up, whatever works for you. Almost there. Three, two, one, 10 seconds rest. Now we're gonna do that one more time. So five seconds, get ready to walk or jog on the spot. Three, two, one. Breathe in the nose, out the mouth, and don't overdo it. 10 seconds. Ooh. Trying to get yourself nice and warm. 
Five, three, two, one. Rest, breathe. In the nose, out the mouth. In five seconds, we're gonna do some boxing. Three, two, one. Let's go. That's it, move your arms all about, left and right, backwards and forwards. Well done, good job. Almost there, keep going. Seven seconds. Ooh, get the arm full. Three, two, one. Well done, 10 seconds of rest. In the nose, out the mouth. Get ready for your squats. Feet at your shoulders, bum back, knees out, arms or elbows up. Let's go. That's it. Nice and slow. Just showing you from all angles. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! Hopefully you're nice and warm now. If you're not and you're still a bit cold, just rewind the video a little bit and then do some more of the warm-up we've just done. However, if you are ready to go, have a sip of water. Mm. Make sure you have a little bit of rest by pausing the video. And then when you do feel ready, we'll get going. I hope you're nice and warm now, everybody, and you're ready to start the first part of the workout. This is going to be cardiovascular work for your heart health. You're gonna be working for 20 seconds, and you're going to be resting for 40 seconds, you're gonna do eight rounds of that. The movement we're gonna do is a walk, or jog, or sprint, Ooh, on the spot. Now, work at your own pace. Remember to breathe in the nose, out the mouth, and just do the best you can. Get ready to go in five seconds. Three, two, one. Walk, jog, or sprint. Keep the shoulders back. Breathe in the nose, out the mouth. 10 seconds, well done. Well done, everybody. Three, two, one. Ooh, 40 seconds of rest. Now in the rest, I encourage you to drink water, to just get you know some of that water back into your body where you're gonna be sweating it out. Mm. Feel free to have a sit down, or feel free just to keep your legs moving. Just a little bit, you know, nice and easy. You've got 20 seconds until round number two. Well done, everybody. Take a deep breath in the nose. Take a deep breath out through the mouth. Fill up and empty the lungs. Right, let's get ready to go in five seconds. You're gonna walk, jog, or sprint. On the spot, three, two, one. Remember, work at your own pace. Oh, almost there, seven seconds, you're doing a great job. Just 20 seconds of work, almost done. Three, two, one, good work everybody. Woo. Now, as you can see, we're working for 20 seconds, which isn't too long, and you're getting double that for the amount of rest. You're getting 40 seconds of rest. So the idea behind this is 20 seconds of intense work, 40 seconds to recover from the intense work. Because the work amount, the time is low, the intensity should be a bit higher. And you get a lot of rest, 40 seconds, to get your energy back. That said, work at your own pace. Do what feels right for you. Get ready for round three in five seconds. Take a deep breath in. Out the mouth. Three, two, one. Walk, jog or sprint. That's it. Use the arms and legs. You're doing a great job. You've got 10 seconds. Great work, class. Great, great work. Five, three, two, one, and have more of a rest. 40 seconds. Woo. Keep breathing in the nose, out the mouth. Make sure you have a sip of water. Mm. If you do need to have a sit down, woo, have a sit down. It's completely up to you. But again, remember, you're working at your own pace. And remember, if you feel like you've had enough before the eight rounds are over, 
just pause the workout or forward the workout and just move on. It's completely up to you how you approach this. You're just doing the best you can. That's all we ask for. Well done, everybody. Five seconds until round four. Three, two, one. Let's go. That's it. Use the arms and legs, please. You're doing a great, great job, class. Trying to get your heart rate up, trying to get you feeling a little bit worked out. Well done. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Good work, everybody. That was your halfway round. Whew, you've got four rounds to go. Now, the way I'm approaching this now, I've done four rounds, intense work. Now, because I'm feeling a little bit out of breath and I know that I've got another four rounds to go and I want to do those four rounds, I'm going to take the next round or two a little bit slower just to preserve my energy for the last two rounds. It's good to do this in a workout like this, you know, just so you know you can do all eight rounds and then, you know, you won't have any problem with it. But that said, if you need to stop and rest, have longer. Three, two, one. So I'm going to go a little bit slower. I'm still working. I've just lowered the intensity for me because I know I'm getting quite out of breath and it's getting quite hard, which is fine. 10 seconds, halfway. I'm almost there. Five, three, two, one. Amazing. Well done. Three to go. I'm going to have a sip of water. I recommend you do the same, please. Not too much, just a sip to keep yourself nice and hydrated. Breathe in the nose, out the mouth. In the nose, out the mouth. In the nose, out the mouth. Right, we've got 15 seconds until your next round. 10 seconds. So get yourself ready. I'm gonna get my legs moving a little bit. I'm still gonna take this round nice and easy. This is round six out of eight. In three, in two, in one. Let's go. Walk, jog, or sprint. Well done, class. Good job. 10 seconds. Oh, I'm taking it still a little bit easier than my first four rounds. Three, two, one. 40 seconds of rest. I'm going to have a sit down in between this round, and you can do the same if you want to as well. I'm also going to have another sip of water. Well done, class. All you've got is two more rounds. Mm. And as I keep saying, if you need longer rests, or you feel ready to move on, it's got a bit too much for you, then just move on or pause the video to have more rest. Now, you've got 15 seconds until our second to last round. Get ready to go, 10 seconds. Relax your shoulders as well, please. Five, three, two, one. Now, I feel a bit more energised now, after taking those last two rounds a bit easier. So I picked up the pace again. But again, just work at your own pace, please. Halfway, 10 seconds to go from now. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out. I'm gonna keep my legs moving a little bit. I'm feeling good, feeling energised. Getting ready for our last round. You've got one more round to go. So great work class, well done, good job. 25 seconds. Remember, breathe. In the nose, out of the mouth. You've got one more round to go. So after the next set of 20 seconds, you can take your rest. So well done class, cardiovascular work certainly is not easy. 10 seconds. Almost there. Get ready. Five. Three. Two. One, last round, give it everything everybody, well done. Work at your own pace at the same time, but you know this is your last one. Walk, jog or sprint. 10 seconds, you're doing amazing. Real good work. Breathe in the nose, almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! Have a rest, definitely have some water. Mm. Have a sit down ah, as well. Oh, you're doing a great job, class. That was part one of our workout done. That was cardiovascular work. Heart rate going up, 
improving your heart health and generally making you fitter. Now have as much rest as you need. I recommend taking at least three minutes just so you're energized again, ready to go for part two. And for now, relax, chill out and rest. Well done everybody. Well done everybody. Now I hope you're ready and you've rested enough for part two. Part two is a mix of functional and strength work as well as some balance work as well. You're gonna be working for 40 seconds and then resting for 20, so the opposite of what you've just done. However, this is not about speed now, this is about slow, good, controlled movement, so please do not rush. You have two exercises. Exercise number one is a balance. Now, if you're not feeling confident or you're not confident with your balance at all, then please, Go next to a wall or go next to something stable so that you can just assist yourself if you feel like you're, you know, going a bit left or right, bit left or right, you don't feel completely stable, yeah? Now I'm going to use my chair, but just use whatever you can, something nice and stable. Now, for the first 40 seconds, you're going to balance on the right side. Now, as you can see, I've taken my left foot off the ground, I'm just on my right leg. I'm using a chair to assist me, but if you feel confident, then don't. If not, use a wall, use a chair, as I said, something stable. Then when you come back to balancing, when I tell you to balance again, you're just gonna do the other foot. Yeah, the left side. And when we're doing that, I'm gonna give you a few tips and some hints and stuff that you can do to make your balance better. That's exercise number one, yeah? Exercise number two is a sit to stand. So you're gonna need your chair, you're gonna need a sofa, you're gonna need something to sit and stand onto. Feet at your shoulders, you can have your toes forward or pointing out. Same as our squat movement. Nice and slow, arms or elbows up. Sit all the way down. Stand up nice and slow, yeah? You're trying to keep yourself as upright as possible. So try and avoid this. We don't want to see that. If that starts happening, maybe pile up a few pillows on whatever you're sitting on. The higher the surface, the easier it is to maintain upright posture. And that just depends on your current strength level and how flexible you are as well. And these things will improve. Now, you're gonna work for 40 seconds. We're gonna be starting with the balance. I'll count you in. You'll then get a 20 second rest. You're then gonna do sit to stand, so 40 seconds. You're then gonna get a 20 second rest and then you're gonna balance on the other foot, yeah? So that's the way we're gonna do it. Well done, everybody. So I want you to get ready to balance. And again, as I said, please hold on to something stable, such as a wall or your sofa or your chair, if you need to. I'll be ready. Right leg balance. So left foot comes off the ground. Three, two, one, let's go. So remember just to look at an object, look at the floor, look ahead of you, and don't look around, because that definitely will send you off balance. Well done. It's 40 seconds, which is a long time. So if you need to rest, have a rest. But we're staying on our right side for the whole time. So don't change sides yet, you're halfway, well done. That's it, good job. Well done everybody. Oh, having to use my foot to keep me up. Lovely. Breathe. Three, two, one. Ooh, left foot down. Now, you're going to need your chair for this one. Because we're going to be doing some sit to stands. You're going to be going in about six seconds time. Nice and slow. Three, two, one. Elbows or arms high. Sit down. Stand up. So this is a functional movement that we do in everyday life. You do this all the time, so we're just trying to strengthen a good movement pattern, which is keeping your chest up, weight even across the feet. So if you're coming onto your toes, widen your feet, or just don't go as low, you're halfway. I want you to move as slow as me as well, or try to at least, and just do your best. 10 seconds. Well done, class, you're almost there. Three, two, one. Now, 
I'm going to now balance on my left side. Now this is my weaker side, so I might need to adapt the movement to make it a little bit easier for myself. So, get ready to go in about seven seconds. Breathe, and if you need more rest, just give the video a pause. Three, two, one. Balance on your left leg. Go for it. Now as you can see, I've not taken my foot completely off the ground. Now what I've done, because I struggle to balance on my left side, if you do, I've just taken my heel off the ground, but my uh, toes are staying on it. This is still forcing me to balance as I've had to put more weight on my left leg, but it's not completely a full balance. But this will help you improve and work towards a full balance. Well done. You've got 10 seconds. Breathe. Shoulders back. Five. Three. Two. One. And relax and chill out for 20 seconds. Back to our sit to stands now. I'm going to show you from this angle. Get ready in 10 seconds to go. Shoulders back. Feet about shoulder width apart. Three. Two. One. Nice. And so as slow as you can do it. We are not doing this to do it as many reps as you can. No, actually, the less reps, the better. Because you're moving so slowly. Lovely. Lovely. Arms or elbows up. You're halfway. Look forward. Lovely. Good job, guy. You've got 10 seconds. Well done. Five, three, two, one. Woo! You're halfway. If you need more rest, pause the video, have a round or two off, it's up to you. But now we're going to go back to balancing on our right leg. So if you need something stable, hold on to it now. Get ready to go in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Now, if you're really good with your balance and you find it quite easy, the higher I bring that knee, the harder it gets, guys. So make sure you focus on something. But if you need to make it easier, you can just have your toe on the ground and heel off the ground. The more weight you take out of the opposite foot, the harder it gets until that foot has to come off the ground as the next scalable level up. Well done. 15 seconds. There we go. Hold on to something if needed. Almost there. Oh, good job, five, three, two, one. 20 seconds. Sit to stands are next. Oh, have a rest guys, and make sure you have some water. You've got 10 seconds until our sit to stands. Mm. Nice, slow, controlled movement, please. We're going in three, in two, in one. Nice and slow, as slow as you can. Well done class, you're doing a great job. You've got 20 seconds, that's halfway. But if you need to rest early, please just rest early. Never ever a problem. 10 seconds, you're doing a great job though, well done. Big deep breaths. Five, three, two, one. 20 seconds of rest. Woo, that gets quite tough, that. Well done, though. We've got two more rounds. We've got a balance on our left foot, our last balance today. Remember, hold on to something if you need to. If not, get the knee up. If not, take the foot only a little bit off the ground. Three, two, one. Shoulders back, breathe, and stay as still as possible. 40 seconds is a long time to do this, it's hard. So if every now and then you need to put your foot on the ground and have a rest, just do it. Doing a good job. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five. Well done, last balance. Three, two, one. Well done. Woo. 
Oh, well done class. We've got one more to do and we are going to finish this part of the class with our sit to stance. So have a breather, have some water quickly. Mm. Pause the video if you need more rest. If not, let's go. Three, two, one. That's it, keeping your chest as upright as possible. Well done, class. Good job. Halfway. Ten seconds. You're doing a great job. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh, well done class, good job, definitely have a drink after that, mm. have a breather, you've earned it. Now, that's part two done, we've only got one more part left, part three, so please have a rest, I, as I said for the last part, I recommend you take at least three minutes of rest. But well done guys, part two is done. Well done everybody, those last two workouts were tough, but you've got through it and you did a great job, so well done. Now I hope you feel rested enough, I hope you've had enough water, if not, pause the video, have more rest, have a sip of water. For this next part of the class, we're going to be working on strength and core work, well strength and then core work, so one then the other. Now, what you need for this first part is a weight if you want to use a weight, whether that be some dumbbells or like me, pasta jar. You only need one weight, so you do not need two, just one. You're going to also need your chair or your sofa or just something to sit on. Yeah. And if you don't want to use any weight whatsoever, then please don't. Just use your body weight. Use your hands. It's not a problem. Now the way it's going to work, we've got two four minute blocks. The first four minutes is strength work. You're then gonna get a bit of rest after that. The second four minutes is core work. And then we will move on to our cool down and stretch. Now, for the strength work, the way we're gonna do it, and for the core work as well, you're gonna work for 20 seconds, and then you're going to rest for 10 seconds. You're going to do eight rounds, which overall makes four minutes. Now, what you're gonna be doing with your weight, or your body weight, we're going to be doing a bicep curl and press on one side of the body. So it looks like this. Like that. That is our bicep curl and press. Then when I say change sides, you're going to change side. Like so. If you don't want to use any weight, Use your hand, that's fine as well. We want to keep it nice, slow and controlled. This is strength work, not speed work, yeah? So please do not rush the movement. Right, I want you to grab your weight if you've got one. I want you to sit nice and tall. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna start with the right side. The left arm can be completely relaxed. Are we ready to go? Three, two, one. Bicep curl, press. Bicep curl, press. Keep going on your right side. If you can't press because of an injury or problem, whatever, just do a bicep curl. If not, press as well. Five seconds. Three, two, one. That's it. Swap sides. Five seconds. Take a deep breath in. Three, two, one. Shoulders back. Bicep curl and press, or just the bicep curl, if you cannot press. Oh, not my water over, just be careful, don't do that. 10 seconds, well done everybody. Five, three, two, one. 10 seconds of rest, just gonna move this out of the way. Swap back to your right side please. Five seconds. Three, two, one. 
feet. It's nice, slow movement. I definitely don't want to see any swinging up. Nice and controlled. Keep the elbow in on the bicep curl. Then press as tall as you can. Five seconds, class. Well done. Three, two, one. Lovely. Swap sides. Remember, if you need more rest than the 10 seconds in between each round, just pause the video. Three, two, one. Left side. Bicep curl and press. Or just a bicep curl if you can't press. Breathe. Well done, everybody. Good job. 10 seconds. Great work. Breathe. Three, two, one. Woo! Halfway. Swap sides. I'm going to show you around without any weights. If you're not using weight, you know, just use your hands. Three, two, one. Right side. That's it. You're doing a great job, class. Long, deep breaths. Ten seconds. Almost there. Well done. Three, two, one. That's it. Ten seconds. If you need some water, have some water. Pause the video if you need more rest. Five, three, two, one. Keeping my back as straight as possible. That's it. Great job, class. You're doing great. Ten seconds. Well done. Five. Three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. One more round on each now, gang. Shoulders back. Keep yourself nice and upright. Five, three, two, one. Doing a great job. Halfway. Amazing, gang. Well done. Three. Two, one. Lovely. Last one, everybody. Well done. Keep the movement fluid. Keep it slow. Keep it controlled. Three, two, one. So I'm trying to move fluidly. I'm not going too quick. I'm showing complete control with my weight or body weight. Well done. Last one. Ten seconds. Good job. Amazing. Well done. Three. Two, one. Woo! Oh. Please have yourself a rest, everybody. That is our strength work done. That would work the biceps and the shoulders and generally just your arms, which is good to have arm strength, build up your bone mineral density, get nice and strong, reduce the chance of fracture in those uh, areas if you knock into something or you fall over. So well done. Have a sip of water, please. Mm. Ah, lovely. Right, so that's part one done of our part three, of the third part of our workout. Now, that was the strength work. We're now going to be moving on to core work. Now, for this, you have an option. You can either stay on your chair, or if you want to get down to the floor, you can. But remember, you do not have to. You can do all of this on your chair, but the floor is there as an option. If you don't have a mat, Use a blanket, a quilt, something, you know, with a little bit of a layer onto it just to keep you nice and safe on the floor. So, I'm going to show you with the mat first and then I'm going to show you on the chair. Yeah, so it's going to be the same format again. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for eight good rounds. But remember, if you need longer, rest or you can't do as much just don't do as much and take longer rest now this is what a straight leg sit up looks like so what i'm doing here i'm lying down i'm touching the floor behind my head i sit up and i just reach towards my toes i haven't got to touch them just tap the nearest area Lovely, good work. Now, if you want to do it on the floor, but you can't quite sit up, and you just can't quite get up, here's a way that you can do it. Use your hands. Or oh, use your hands to sit up, 
And then on the way back, go nice and slow and try not to use your hands at all. Slow down the way back. Use your hands, slow down the way back. Lovely. Well done, everybody. Woo. And that's the way you can do it. If you can't quite sit up, then you want to stay on the floor. Now, if you can't do that, or you don't want to get down onto the floor, not a problem. We can use our chair. So, looks like this. I'm going to do a seated sit-up. From the side. Make sure you're nice and stable. So I'm leaning back as far as I can. I'm not touching the back of my chair or my sofa. And I'm coming back forward again. That is my aim with that one. I sit on the edge of the chair. And so on and so forth. My feet stay on the ground the whole time. The further back you lean, the harder it is. Right, this is the last thing we're doing today. We're doing a great job. If you need more rest right now, pause the video. If you feel like you, you're done, you don't want to do any more, then you can be done. Just forward it to the cool down and the stretch, which is very important to do. Now, in about 20 seconds, we're going to be doing are seated sit-up or sit-ups on the mat, straight leg sit-ups. I'm going to show you both throughout this, but just stick to one if you can. But if you start on the mat, it gets too hard, move back to the chair, guys. Well done. Five seconds. Shoulders back. Three, two, one. Round one. Lean back. Squeeze your stomach. Come back. Keeping your shoulders back. I pause at the bottom for just a second to hold it there. My back's not touching the chair. I'm squeezing my stomach muscles. Three, two, one, and rest. 10 seconds of rest. That was round one, seven to go. If you need more rest than I'm giving you, just pause the video. Three, two, one. That's it, lean all the way back. Try not to hold your breath. Doing a great job. 10 seconds. Lovely gang, well done. Five, three, two, one. Right, stay on the chair if you want. I'm gonna show you some on the mat, the people on the floor. Three, two, one. Touch the floor, reach for your toes. Nice and controlled. Or if you're on the chair, just leaning back and then coming back forward. Well done, everybody. Good job. Three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. Woo! Remember to always sip water if you feel like you need a bit as well, gang. Get ready to go again. I'm going to show you the variation using my hands. Let's go. Use my hands to come up. Slowly. As slow as I can on the way back. Use my hands to come up. As slow as I can on the way back. And so on and so forth. Well done. Three, two, one. Lovely. I'm going to show you again on the chair, this time from the sides. Five seconds, everybody. Three, two, one. That's it. Squeezing my stomach muscles to stop myself from touching the back of my chair. Five, three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. The further back I lean, the harder it gets, so just bear that in mind. Five, three, two, one. Round six. Lovely. Showing complete control throughout the whole movement. Well done, everybody. Ten seconds. Breathe. Three, two, one. Woo, lovely. Two rounds to go. I'm going to show you again on the mat. Okay. Well done. Three, 
two, one, let's go. Nice controlled movement, please. That's it, fantastic everybody, you're doing such a good job. It's not easy, but we need to strengthen our stomach muscles to keep that midline nice and strong. And rest, woo! Oh, one more round to go everybody. Doing a great job, five seconds. Three, two, one, I'm gonna use my hands. Slow on the way back if you're using the hands especially. We're just trying to strengthen by good controlled movement. Halfway, almost there. Five, three, two, one. Woo! Oh, definitely. Get yourself a drink, please. Have a rest. You have earned it, everybody. Oh, lovely. Gonna have a sip of water. Gonna have a breather. Mm. Please give the video a pause. If you need to give the video a pause, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go on to our stretch and cool down. Well done, everybody. The hard bit is done. Right, everybody, we're done today. Great work. We did a bit of cardio work to start with before we moved on to strength and functional movements before we finished some more on some upper body strength and some core work as well. Great work, gang. You did amazingly. Now we're just going to have a quick stretch just to cool things down. Remember, if you haven't got your breath back yet, just pause the video, have some more water, focus on nice deep breaths in the nose, out the mouth, and then join in again when you're ready. The first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna interlink my fingers, put them on the back of my head, close my elbows, I'm gonna tuck my chin, and look down. If you can't do that with your arm, just look down like this. Round over the back slightly. Slight pressure on the neck to give it a stretch, not too much. The next thing I'm going to do, release that stretch nice and easy, is I'm going to lean down to the floor, I'm going to let myself hang, I'm going to touch the floor if I can, I'm just rounding over. Lower back stretch, this one is. And slowly come up. Next one, I want you on your feet. What we're going to do, feet under the hips. I'm just going to hang nice and low. I'm going to stretch out my hamstrings as well as my lower back. Remember, long, deep breaths. I don't have to touch the floor, I'm just hanging. I can hold on to my legs if I want to. And slowly, slowly, slowly come up. Now, please, for the next one, use a chair or a wall, something stable. Because what I'm going to get you to do is pull one heel up to your bum. Now, if that's not possible, just raise the leg or use your clothes. Yeah? Whatever works for you. Big deep breaths. You did a great job today, class. Another tough Good session. Big deep breaths. Three, two, one. Swap sides. Left side. Oh, lovely. Nice stretch that is. Well done. Ten seconds. So make sure you're holding on to something if you need to. We we'll definitely recommend it. Well done. Now our last stretch today, guys, I want you to take your right arm and just put it across the body. Now I want you to take your left hand, pass the elbow of the right arm and pull it into you. And we're gonna hold it here. Put the side of your shoulder stretch. That's it, deep breaths.
Release the stretch, swap sides. Left arm across, right arm past the elbow ideally of the left, pull it in. That's it, a good stretch that one, gang. Take deep breaths and release the stretch. You are done today, everybody. Give yourself a big round of applause. You absolutely smashed that. It was a hard, good, tough session. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Leave any feedback, how you got on, we'd love to know. And I'll see you at the next Fit For Good online session. Have a nice day, have a nice week, and stay safe.